finally the day arrived, the day I went on one of the most important and significant hunts of my hunting career, to hunt a graceful and illustrious sable antelope in its natural habitat on an open farm belonging to Gierloot Safaris in the Malopo region of the Kalahari. Upon arrival, we unpacked and went on a recce to establish where the animals were and what to expect on the day of the actual hunt. After our morning coffee, next to a still smoldering fire, we set off for the shooting range to sight in my 375 H&H Browning Able 2 rifle, topped with a Leopold VX6 in 2 to 12 by 42 CDS. <laughs> Ammunition I'm using will be 300 grain Norma Oryx soft, um, which are factory ammunition. This is the first two, and this is the second two, and this is my last. After firing six shots, I was comfortable that the rifle is spot on, and then we proceeded to the hunting area to look for my quarry. On day three, we finally saw a glimpse of the bull. We debussed from the Land Cruiser and started the spot and stalk. John, let's see where the great one is. After about 300 meters of stalking, Jakus put up the sticks. I took the shot at about 100 meters. The shot rang true, hitting the bull in the vitals, but he turned around and walked away as if nothing has hit it. After following the bull for about 200 meters, he presented himself with another broadside shot. After shooting over the sticks that uh, Yakas put up for me, I hit it again in the vitals and he went down after walking a few paces. When I saw the bull I was overcome with emotion, lying there lifeless yet the biggest life itself. It was a powerful, hard-hitting reality that I wasn't prepared for. I as a hunter have remorse each and every time I have to kill an animal, as I do it out of necessity and not out of want. I always say a hunter kills in order to be a hunter. He doesn't hunt in order to kill. Het is niet al dag dat de oude kans krijgt om een om een zwart wit pens te schieten. Hoe was het voor je geweest? Hoe was je ondervinding geweest? Man, weet je, dat is niet zo zijn gedanken dat gaan wees nee. Um, ik heb niet gedanken zo harde dieren nee. Ik heb gedanken dat ze niet eens goed afgaan en eet nee. Maar nou ja, zo dat het bikkie mij dag bikkie opgeveter. Maar um, hij is dan dood en ze beter mooi bok. En uh, ja, zo ik is uh, ik is gelukkig maar. Niet zo gelukkig zoals ik zo geweest het als hij. Niet, niet zo uh, gezakkelijk. Nee. Zeven mei, 
Uh, wat is die plannen met die die boek? Wat gaan je met hom maak? Man, weet je, ik ga hem eer brengen aan hom en om uh, voel me aan het maken. Ik ga hem heel te laten opstappen. Zo, so, uh, ik ga naar eerder plek en wijs he. En um, hopelijk gaan allemaal waar ook om. Zo so trots is op onze zak op hem is. After the excitement of the sable hunt has died down, we uh, discussed shooting a blue wildebeest, which was also included in this hunt. And uh, we set out to see if we can find one of the f three or four solitary bulls that was roaming the farm. We walked and stalked and Yaka set up the sticks for me at about 150 meters from the bull. He stood perfectly broadside and I took my custom made 300 Weatherby mag. I took the shot, hitting the heart at exactly the right spot. We saw droplets of blood as well as bright red blood which is consistent with a heart shot. Yakus congratulated me. We estimated it would have been about 27 inches. Well, I haven't shot a big one enough to put on the wall. And um, yeah, this is a special bull because we've been looking for him or the other three like him for the past three days. So yeah, this, yesterday, um, Got close, but not no cigar. And today we got close, so uh, yeah, we took the shot, and it was a good shot. Here is Rudra's 27. Hoor. Ek skat, ek gaan